Good morning, folks. We've got articles to hit today dealing with the nature of the cosmos and two on solar forcing of the terrestrial atmosphere, including one that calls back to the current sheet concepts we've been discussing. We've had minor solar activity on our star, but it's building this morning. We'll also take a look at the sunspots. Let's start here with the last 24 hours on the sun and find the central dark region turning through the central heliographic longitudes. This coronal hole will deliver enhanced solar wind to Earth in about two more days. Minor geomagnetic instability expected. The majority of the last 24 hours were pretty quiet without significant CME activity, certainly nothing like the filament eruption featured in yesterday's show, but we are still watching those sunspots, they're pretty numerous. Happily, the biggest spots are turning towards the departing limb while the incoming spots on the north do remain smaller this morning. We'll have eyes on their development today. Let's go out to the cosmos, where if you're new here, you likely don't know about our long-standing examination of cosmic conditions. Plasma, electric, and magnetic theories trumping those of the lambda cold dark matter model. And today we see one of the key magnetic predictions has been realized. Weibel instability is the difference in temperature profiles amidst plasma, and it turns out that that energy differential can easily be turned into magnetic fields. In the vastness of the plasma of the early universe, those magnetic fields were easily produced from the anisotropy, allowing it to begin to mold and shape the cosmos cosmos in ways that were previously only believed to be controlled by the gravity of dark matter and repulsion of dark energy. Excellent step in the right direction here. Great paper up next looking at the solar wind joule heating impact, shades of Brian Tinsley's work from years ago. This direct heat input from the solar wind to the upper atmosphere is fairly underrepresented, you could say, in climate models, and here they show the importance of the interplanetary magnetic field in the sun's current sheet. This is another aspect that impacts a lot of how space weather actually interacts with the Earth, and that's actually true of any current sheet interaction system. When the sheet interacts, the conditions change rapidly. Obviously, this reminds observers of the galactic current sheet interaction with our sun and our solar system. Lastly, folks, a more detailed look at that joule heating reveals that the regional and large-scale radar estimates have missed a lot, you don't say. Their detailed look at the local conditions with the aurora find that there's a much higher heating input from the solar wind than has been realized before. Again, this is missed in all climate models, or it has until now. And both trickle-down effects over time and influence over the global electric circuit, rapidly affecting the lower atmosphere. And than all the weather we see. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the solar climate forcing and those current sheet interactions with our playlists and our books linked in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.